Good morning, my sweet babies. How's everyone doing today? Oh, I woke up at 4 o'clock. Lord of mercy, I got my cold coffee. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's so good. And I want to show y'all I washed my shirt. Didn't phase it a bit. Now, I got carried away with the spray. Yeah, but I like it. And it's warm. It's cold here. Oh, honey, babies, it's cold. Let me get you down here. I'm going to show you what we're doing. I need the one I got y'all still way up in the air. Uh-oh. From when I did the shirt video. God bless it. Hey. All right, let me get you down. Okay. We're going to be, I'm going to show you how to make you a mole housing out of acrylic plates. Okay. Now they come, let me show you. They come with brown paper on them. So you take the brown paper off, all right? Get you up here, look at it. Get you up here. Comes like this. And I just cut it. Now, what we're gonna be doing, let me find my, um, right, here we go. We're gonna be doing this owl. What? So what I did was I laid my, whatever you wanna cast, lay it down. You take your acrylic sheet. Let me do it this way so y'all can see. Okay, you put it up against your piece, and you'll know how mm -hmm. you'll know how long you need it to be. You see, or how deep. All right. So what I did, I took my pen. Now this ain't pen, but anyway, I went across the highest part of the mold of the thing that I want molded. Okay, and I took a pen and I marked. Now when I cut it, I went up just a little bit. Just for, to make sure I had enough. Then I went down here, and I marked this. Now I went out just a little bit there, too. Because you know your, whatever you're casting, has got to have room for the silicone rubber to get all the way around it. Okay? Now then, what I, and then I cut it up. All right? Now I've already made one. Mm-hmm. And I just put hot glue around the outside of it. Okay? Now. What I did next is I put this double-sided tape. This is from Dollar Tree, okay? And I put it all on my, my, my top sides and, and bottom. And you got to pull this top off, this paper off right here, okay? And have you some glue sticks on the side, babies, because you're going to need it. All right? And then you just pull that off. Any double-sided tape stays on it, you see. Okay. Now then, I'm going to show y'all this one. Then I'm going to pause you. And I'll finish the rest. Alright. Go up to your edge. Let me get y'all down. I thought I had you zoomed in. Let me get you down so y'all can see it. May I? No, it's not. There we go. Oh, look at that now. Y'all can see now, can't you? So I put it right up to the edge. All right. Like that. And then I just come down through here and stick it on there. And give it a little rub. Now on the end, I just folded it under. And that's going to give me a little mark, you see, where I'm cut it. Where I'm supposed to cut it. There you are. Now then, you're going to pull this off course. And I figured this end would be easier because uh, it's already stuck to that tape under it. If I can get these fingers working this early in the morning. There we go. There we go. Now then you just continue on around until you get it all double sided taped up. I was going to use my less resin mole housing, but it wasn't, I couldn't uh, get a shape that was little enough. You know, it, it would have used too much silicone if I'd have used that. So, I just decided to make me one to fruit. And I couldn't be that hard. And I think, uh, I've seen people make them out of cardboard box. Mm-hmm. Got a cardboard box, baby. But I had these, and I was like, hey, I can reuse these. 
Mm -hmm. Clean them up and reuse them. All right. Get my little mark. All right, a little bit more. I don't want any hanging over. I don't know. There we go. Now then, I'm going to pull this off. And there you are. You got your first one. How about that? Now, I'm going to pause y'all, and I'll be back when I get it all double-sided tape, and I'll show you how to put it together. Okay? Be right back, baby. All right, loves, got them all taped. Now what you want to do is take your little square here. Now I'm going to lay mine down. Mm. I think I want to, let's just do it like this. Let's do it like this. I'm going to put my side, for, my end first, okay? And I have your... Whatever you're going to cast, have it laying there. That way you'll know. Lord oh, mercy. I don't know how much further i got to get you to look here, honeys. There you go now. That way you'll know that it's going to be a fit, you see. Okay? Now, I always put my end pieces on the inside of the side pieces. Just like that. Push them together. And that double-sided tape is going to hold it there for you. Won't be falling and all that mess. So now we're going to take this one and we're going to stick it in here. Alright. Now then, get your tail back up here. I think I double-sided tape the wrong. Yep. Hold on. I put it on the wrong side. I always put it on the side that's the straightest because I'm not a straight cutter. And as you see, this is the side I cut. And it's a little wonky. This is straight. All right. You'll see it. When you cut it, you'll see it. You'll see there's going to be a straight edge. And that's the side you want to use. Okay. But I double-sided taped the wrong one. All right. Now push that down. Okay. Bring it under, pull it back up, and you'll have a little crease. And that'll tell you where to cut it. I don't know if y'all can see it. All right, just cut it. Then you're going to pull your double side tape off. Pull this top part. See there? Okay, now then, we're going to use the straight. I knew it. Hold on, babies. All right, babies. Sorry about that. All right. Now, I'll just get me some contact paper. This is nothing but shelf paper. I'm going to try to get you a little bit closer. Oh, look at that. Look at that now. And I'm going to stick this housing on this contact paper. That's going to be my bottom. Now, this one that I made, I made a bottom. But I want to see how it'll work just putting it on contact paper and putting glue around it. That's what I want to see. I don't know why they make it so hard to get this dog on paper off. Oh, while I'm trying to get this off, let me tell you about my daddy. He had his feeding tube replacement. And um, they took the feeding tube. Let me raise y'all up. I'm going to talk to you for just a second. I know y'all say, my God, get on with it. But I'm going to tell you. Um, they replaced his feeding tube. They took it out of his throat and uh, placed it through his side, I'm, I'm thinking. But anyway, y'all. When they took that feeding tube out of my daddy's throat, he wasn't eating, he wasn't talking, he wasn't, done forgot how to swallow, all that, remember? So when they took that feeding tube out of his throat, babies, he was alert, and guess what? He was talking. Praise Jesus, thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord. And thank y'all for all your prayers for my daddy. Now, yesterday he had a, they went in to wash out his lungs due to the pneumonia that he had. And uh, we're still waiting to hear from that. We thought we would hear something yesterday. But hopefully this morning we'll hear something. And my next video I'll update y'all on that. But ain't that a blessing from God? Yes, it is, baby. They wouldn't even expect my daddy to, to make it. But you know what? God had different plans, didn't he? Yes, he did. All right, darlings, let me get you down. Then we're going to do our blessing board and our prayer board, okay? Back on up here. <clears throat> that might be a little close. All right. Now, what I want to do. I, just for security, I could put double-sided tape on the back of this. You know, just to make sure that it gets a good connection. Mm -hmm. So, let's just double-sided tape this. Now, if y'all don't want to see this part, honey baby, feel free to... Uh, Fast forward, okay? Oh, yeah. I don't know what's going on me. I drop and drop and drop. It's like I can't hold things anymore. So I'm going to go right up here. Now, this double-sided tape, you know, this thing had screws in it that you put the handle on. So the double-sided tape is going to cover them holes up. But all you got to do is just take your little tool and drill you some holes in there, put you some screws and make you a handle. And I was looking at the handles that came off of this to see if I could um, mold a handle. And I'm not sure that I can't. I'm going to put it on both sides. And I may try it. That way, I'll have handles. You know? Come on. Come on off of there. Come on now. Sometimes it's a turf tapper to get off of here. My God. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Is it on there? No. Why well, it wants to be such a turf tapper. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, I'm sorry. I don't know why it's... Please, it's not on there, is it? No. No. That gummit. My bad. My bad, babies. I just wanted to show y'all the whole thing, you know? So if y'all want to cast something, you know how to make your own mole housing. And baby, if it's flat, you can mold it. Now, this angel over here of Mama's, it's not flat. But I'm thinking I can feel where she has raised up parts with some hot glue and um, mold it. I'm going to try it because it's so pretty. And then we got her crosses and I'm going to do those. All right, come on here now. Look at it. It wants to. Are you not going to work with me today? Mm -mm. Oh, sweet Jesus. Please, sweet Jesus. Let's get it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm going to pause you. I'm sorry. All right. I got it all double taped on the back. And I'm going to place it on this contact paper. But, let me put my... Let me do this first. Let me put this on here. You know what? I think I'm going to hot glue it. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I think I'm going to hot glue it first, babies. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So let's move this. <clears throat> Y'all excuse me. Alrighty. Now then. Let's hot glue it. I'm going to go thinking this end first. 
and I'm going to hold it on the ends like this, mashing it just a little bit to make sure this is closed up. Going in with some hot glue. Now, I already made one. Yes, I did, babies. I made one. I'm going to hold it for just a second. And I came back and put some more hot glue. I doubled it. Because I didn't want any um, runs. Leaks. Not runs. <sighs> My brain don't want to work. Put your hot glue on the outside of your mold housing. Okay. All right. Got that. All right. Now we're ready. I'm going to put this on here and then do my around the bottom. Okay. Make sure I got it straight. And there we go. Those little stringy bits. There we go. Just give it a little pressure and push it down on this contact paper. Okay. Now then what you do, go around your edges. You know what? You could just take this contact paper and flip it up. And you wouldn't have to hot glue it. Or you could hot glue it. Let's hot glue it. And then we could flip the paper up. With that. And then take your paper and flick it up. Look at that. There you are. Now, doing it this way, you're not going to be able to see your, your mold in there that you're making. I'm going to put it down because. I don't want it to be wrinkled. There we go. Might still be a little wrinkled. And I'm just going to go around this side. Running out of glue. Figures. I just wanted to see if I could um, do it with without a bottom. And just use this contact paper. I'm going around these edges real good. Okay. I'm not going to flip that one up. I just want to see how it's going to work. All right. I'm doubling. Okay. Flip it around. Get your other ends. Just make sure you get all your sides, your ends. There's no gaps. Because if you have gaps, baby, you're going to have leaks. Okay, we don't want to lose our silicone because <clears throat> silicone is expensive. I'm going to let that dry just a little bit. Look at that. I think we got a good, I think that's going to be good, that side. Look at that. If it has a leak, it's not going anywhere because the contact paper's on it. How about that? I might raise this side after all and just leave the ends open. Mm hmm So, I'm going to go around and see if this is dry. No. I'm going to put a double hot glue. Double it. I do not want any flakes. So, I'm going to do the same on these corners. See? Double that. All right. And I think I am going to raise my paper on the side here. There we go. Now then, get that out. Don't want that. All right. Now we have our two molds. We have one with the bottom. And we have one with contact paper. Because I'm going to see how good that's going to work. Alright, now then, you take your, your owl. It's got the 
double-sided tape and you put him in here I'm just gonna eyeball it and I'm gonna push him down all right there you are look at that he's ready ain't he ready for some silicone okay and this one let's do let's do the bumblebee want to do the bumblebee I love that bumblebee that bumblebee is cute oh but I like the frog let's do the frog oh crap I don't know I love frogs so anyway let's do the frog and uh I'm going to double side tape this and I'll be back. Alright. I got him all double sided. Ain't he just the cutest thing you ever seen? Oh, he's so freaking cute. Now I'm just going to eyeball it in. Make sure his center has room on both sides. And there we go. And there he is. Here they are. All right, now I do know it takes eight ounces of silicone to fill this, to cover it completely, this owl, because I've already done it. Ah! I've already done it. Okay, now, the frog, I'm not sure, but I'm thinking the same. So it's going to take eight ounces for this and eight ounces for this. And I'll be right back when I get my silicone mixed up. And we'll pour it in, and the weight will be on, babies. Okay? I'll be back. All right. I want to show y'all how to measure your silicone. It's measured by weight, okay? And I'm using uh, less resin, silicone rubber, all right? And let me get this glue gun out of the way because we're done with that. Away, babies. All right, now then, here we go. Put your cup on there. Oh, one cup I do. And zero it out. I've got it on fluid ounces. So we're going to do eight ounces, okay? Now we're going to pour our silicone rubber. And look, it comes with a stopper. Ain't that great? Pull the stopper out. Look. Well, any other time, look at that. See? Ain't that something? It will not uh, leak. Put that stopper in. Let me get some gloves on. Let me get some gloves on, baby. And then we're going to do, after I get it poured, we're going to do our uh, prayer board and blessing board, okay? And shut up. All right, let's get it. So by weight, so I'm going to go four ounces. Well, I went over. Of course I did. I went 4.4 ounces. So, wonderful, Wanda. So now I'm going to zero it out. And I'm going to do... 4.4 ounces of A. Okay. Y'all cannot even see this scale. Alright. 4.4 ounces. Alright. I love these little stoppers. Okay, we're going to zero it out. And we're going to go 4.4 of A. Hope my cup's big enough. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. 4.4. 2. 3. 4. Oh, jeez. Let me get something like this off. How much am I going to use my glove? I don't like, um... Uh, I don't like stuff running down the side of my bottles. Alright. So we have equal parts. And you, I mix it for five minutes. I set me a timer. And I mix it for five minutes. Then I pour it in another cup. And I mix it for three more. Okay. That's just to give me peace of mind that it is um, mixed. 
All right. So I'll be back once I get it mixed. All right, loves. I got it all mixed up. And like I said, I mixed it up in one cup for five minutes. Poured it into another cup and mixed for three more. Now, if you want to add color to uh, your silicone, you you can. You can add mica or you can add silicone dye, I think is what they call it. Y'all look, I gave my dog a bath yesterday. Yeah, she went crazy. So, y'all wondered what happened to my arm. Oh, God. She loves a bath, but I had just got her off of um, doggy time because she was trying to chew up something. Trying to teach her not to chew. So, <clears throat> if I should have waited until she calmed down after she got off a of dog of time. And, but I didn't. I just went straight to the tub. And she was hyper and all that. So that was my fault. Alright darlings. I'm just going to be pouring the frog. Okay. Because I just wanted to show y'all how you could do your. Fix your mole housing. You can either do it with the contact paper. Or you can make you a bottom. Okay. Because I've already done the owl. And we'll be doing that together, okay? So, we're just going to do this uh, froggy dog, okay? So, I'm going to hold way up high and just pour. And I forgot to tell y'all what the working time was. Now, this will let me know if I have any leaks. Once you get it poured in there, baby, you'll see if you got any leaks anywhere. Now, I did have a leak on my first one that I did of the um, owl. And what I did, I just kept wiping and kept wiping. And then I put, oh, look at that. Eight ounces, baby, right on time. Look at that. <sighs> I'm excited. I'm so excited about these plant hangers, y'all. I am. Let me tell y'all how much working time you got on this uh, silicone. I about didn't make my foot down there tall enough, did I? All right. That's that, my loves. Now then, you can tap. Look here. See? I got a leak. Look at that. There's a leak right here. Now let me show you how I'm going to fix that. I'm going to take one of my little silicone brushes here, okay? I'm going to set it on this paper. Slide it right up here on this paper. All right. I'm going to go around here, and I'm going to wipe that off. Now then, let me hurt. I don't know if my gun's still hot. No, it's not. Great. But anyway, it's not a bad leak. It's not pouring out, but it's leaking. So, I must have missed a spot somewhere. That's all right. We're finna fix it. We're fixing to fix it. I'm just going to keep on wiping. Put it right back in there. Mm -hmm. That's the only leak we got, right? I think I spilled that. So, I'm going to pull that over here so I can tell Yeah, I spilled it. Mm-hmm. I did. I did. Now, this degasses itself. Come on, glue gun. Oh. You, you're not supposed to heat it. See the bubble coming up? Bubbles come up on their own. If it will hurry up and heat up. See the little leak? I don't know if y'all can see it. There's a little leak right here. Mm -hmm. Just going to keep wiping until my glue gun gets hot. Come on. 
Bring out our oh, it might be a little bit. I'm going to put this on right there and hold it. It's not hot enough. It's not hot enough, Wonder. It's not hot enough. But I think that one got the leak. Let's see. Let me wipe. No, it didn't because my glue ain't hot enough. Trials and tribulations, babies. But you can always fix it. Oh, get out of there. Come on, love. Just need a little bit. Oh, there we go. All right. I'm going to go around this corner. And I'm going to push some up in there. And that ought to do it. That ought to do it, babies. Let me get my little scissors. Where are they? Here they go. I'm going to cut me off a little piece of paper right here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to lay it right there on it. Now that should stop it. Because it can't go anywhere, right? And there we are. See? Put your little strip. Alright, darlings. I'll be back when it's cured. And we're going to... Um, we can do this. We're going to dust them up. And we're going to put some resin in there. Uh -huh. And I'll show you all the owls. Ooh, it's so pretty. Look at those bubbles. All right, let me tell y'all the working time. Let's see what it's safe. Um, well, yeah. That's awesome, ain't it? Hold on, baby. I want y'all to know. I think it's 30 minutes. 30 minute working time, I believe. I believe. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to find the paper for nothing, would I? Not for nothing. But anyway, I think it's 30 minute working time. So, uh, pretty good bit working time. I might mix up some more and go ahead and pour that. Oh, because I really want to see how the contact paper works. Well, that stopped the leak. Yay. No more leaks. Okay, I'll be back, babies. I forgot to tell you, babies, silicone sticks to silicone. So that's why I have this plastic, um, it's called a cutting board. Got it at the Dollar Tree. So that's why I got my silicone sitting on it. Using my Miracle Wipe to get up the silicone that I spilled and what leaked off of my mat. And that's it, loves. And we'll be back. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and do the blessing board and the prayers and the shout outs, okay? And then when we come back, all we have to do is just decorate. Pop. Just decorate our froggy and our owl. Alright? Alright, darlings. On the blessing board for March is Miss Patricia Davis, Miss Tanya Snorf. Miss Tanya Snorf. What in the holy mess? Miss Stacy Snorf and Miss Tanya McCord. Shout outs. We have Cosmic Carol Creations, India Brady Art, Art by Me by Andrew Walker, Nighttime Creations, Tanya Beecher Wood Turning, uh, T and Art. Oh, oh my Lord, T and Art. Y'all, y'all gotta go look at her videos. She, she made one beautiful moon yesterday out of clay. Y'all hear me? It was gorgeous. All right, and my baby Christopher. Hello, my darling. I hope you're having a blessed day, baby. Yes, I do. And I love you. And thank you for watching. Hey, Miss Lisa. All right. 
On the prayer board, we have continued prayers for Miss Frances for the loss of her niece, Miss Carol. We have Stacy Snorf and her mama and her best friend, Vicki, lost her daddy. And let's pray that Miss Stacy feels better. I think she's getting there. She's getting there. Uh, prayers for Miss Rose and her mama. Now, my sweet Miss Rose that has been here with me since I think my channel started, I believe she was, has got um, tests today and tomorrow. Two days of scans and tests. And in April, she will go back and find out what the results are. So let's pray everything is going to be great. Okay? For Miss Rose. All right. Miss Annette and her mama. Miss Vicki. It's her hip. She's taking physical therapy. So let's pray the physical therapy helps Miss Vicki. Okay? Miss Christina Hutchinson. Her daughter needs a kidney. Miss Tina Lewis for the loss of her son, Miss Sophia and the PKS family. Levi the Miracle Warrior on Facebook. God is so good to that baby. Honey, God is working miracles with that little baby. Yes, he is. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Judy, my friend Judy and her sister Cindy for the loss of their mama. Miss Robbie Ivy. And continue prayers for my daddy, please. Thank you so much. And I will let y'all know... Um, when we hear from uh, the washing of his lungs, Lord Jesus, I thought we already would, but we have it. And if y'all would just, uh, if y'all have a minute, let's just, uh, let's say a prayer, okay? Let's bow our heads in prayer, okay, babies? Because, honey, you got to give God praise. You got to give him all of it. Because if you don't, baby... You're not going to have any kind of blessings coming your way. I'm just going to tell you the truth, okay? All right, darling, let's bow our head in prayer. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done for me. Forgive me for all my sins. Heal me from the hurts from my past. I love you, and I need you to cover me, Lord, with your protective shield. My family, my friends, my YouTube family, my life projects. Dear Lord, please bind up any strongholds and generational curses that are attached to me and my bloodline, my YouTube family, my friends. Christ, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ on my bloodline. Please, Lord, give me your dreams, Lord. Bless and protect everyone that seeks you, needs you, and believes in you, Lord. Heal the world of this virus. Bring peace to people who are in conflict, especially the people in Ukraine, as they seek refuge. Sweet Jesus, we ask all this in your sweet name, Lord, and amen. Amen, babies. Amen, babies. Amen. Thank you, sweet Jesus, for the blessing you have put on my daddy, too. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I appreciate all of y'all's prayers. I do. I Words cannot say how much I appreciate all look, I'm talking to this mold. <laughs> talking to the mold. But I I can't express in words how much I appreciate all of y'all's prayers for my daddy. Oh, sweet babies. They're working. It's power and prayer, babies. It's power and prayer. I believe it. I believe it to my soul. I believe it. All right. We'll be back, okay? And uh, see what this mold looks like. I'm excited. All right, darlings. i see you in a little bit. All right, babies. It's ready. And let me tell you what I did. I took the hanger that came off the original piece and made me a mold for the hangers. Hope I did it right. All right, let's just see what we got. Let's do, let's do Mr. Froggy first. Now, I had a leak. And what I did was I wiped it and then I put me some more uh, hot glue on there and threw me some uh, tape on top of it. That's what I did. Now, let's see if we can get it off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If y'all see my phone right here, I've got another video. Uh, 
export into my pictures. So, oh, and I, um, I said in this one, still same day, I said in this one, my mama called and uh, everything went great with my daddy's procedure. Praise Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ain't he good? He's so good. He's good. Ooh, everything went great with the washing of the lungs. Never heard it before in my life. Look at that. That just coming right off, ain't it? Now, I ain't going to speak too soon, baby, because, huh, I know it might, uh, look at that, though. Wow. Look at that. I oh, I'm going to put some gloves on because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to get fingerprints on it. Let me, let me get some gloves. Get some gloves on, babies. And we're going to see what Mr. Froggy looks like. Okay. Come on. Come on, gloves. And it's not sticky. And I know the, um, the paper for the less resin uh, silicone said if it's sticky... Let it sit. Let it sit some more. Okay. Now I'm hoping when I take the bottom off, that it's uh, cured on the bottom. But we'll see. If it's not, I'm gonna put it back together. Okay. All right. Now I'm just gonna. Oh, I ain't gonna cut nothing with it upside down, am I? Let me just do it like this. I'm gonna go right down the side, just like that. And right down the side, just like that. Please let it be cured. All right. I'm going to pull this off, and we're going to see if it's cured or not. Oh, my God, it is, babies. And look at that. Came right off. Oh, I'm excited. Now, y'all going to have to stay tuned. Because we're going to be putting resin in here. I might go ahead and do it. It's already a 42 minute video though. Oh. Well, don't matter does it. Does it? Honey, we might mix this up with some resin and, and go on at it. And then that way. It's uh, 826. So it could sit overnight and we could debold it in the morning. Ain't that right? Sounds good to me. Come on here now. I couldn't get my little knife in there. There we go now. There we go. Let's pull it on off the bottom. <sighs> there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. Here we go, babies. Y'all ready? Oh, holy mess. I might have a little shouldn't have any under uh oh here we go okay hold on it did go under it i don't know how who hot it went under there i'm not good with this knife please lord guide my hand because i don't want to cut my mold i'm gonna pull and cut okay that's what i'm gonna do just like that there we go there we go oh <sighs> Can't wait to see it. Okay. Maybe. Let's see about this side. Mm -mm. Look, I did this side too. Yay, it's been exported to my photos. All right. So that video will probably be, it's going to be uploaded first, okay? And then this one. Now, I can't tell you what it is, but I can tell you who inspired me. I'll give you a hint. Bob Ross inspired me, but it's not a painting. Oh, here we go. Oh, Lordy. Look at that. Oh, oh holy mess. I'm so nervous, y'all. I'm going to take my time. I smell something. Oh, fire. 
hope it ain't my mold. What in the mess is that? Okay. Oh, Lordy. Here we go, babies. Here we go. Oh, God. I bet y'all see it. Just pull it out. Oh, look. Y'all turn your volume down because I really want to scream. Please turn it down. Oh, my good God. Look at it. Uh -uh, I'm not using that knife on there. Now, I got it. Uh, oh, God bless it. Look here. I got this little cuticle thing here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take it. And I'm going to clean it up right here. And, y'all, that's the only cleanup I got. Oh, holy, holy mess. I'm just going to go right on up in there. Look at that. It just takes it right off. This is a handy dandy little tool, ain't it? Look at it. Now I can just get this off of my. And we can use that again if we want to, but we ain't got to because we got a mold. Oh, I got to find something to go behind this so y'all can see it. Now, the reason I did it in clear, look at that. Oh my God. I got to find something. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see about this ball. Let me see about it. Maybe. 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 Oh, good God. Please work. All right. I'm going to bring you on down because sometimes that light gets bright. Oh, holy mess. I'm trying to get it in there. Let me get on up there. There's his little head and his ladder. The hat. Oh yeah, we gotta do it. We're gonna have to do it. Look at that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, yes, baby. We gotta do it because I'm so excited about it. I'm gonna pause y'all and get my colors. But let me show y'all. We can reuse this, honey, for something else. But let's get this. Let's see how this came out. Mm, I don't know about this, but we shall see. If the hooks worked, I, I'm hoping so. I hope it did. But if it didn't, you know you can make your own hooks. Or you can order them. They're not that much. What in the mess? I can't even see what I'm doing. I don't know what happened to my camera. It bowed down on me. Lord of mercy. It bowed down on me, babies. I don't know if we got any underpour here or not. Think so. I'm gonna have to be real careful because the mold is right up under this. Now I had my uh, I put some some of this paper down to stick my uh, little hooks to. Here we go. Oh shoot! I think it did go under it. Well, let's just see what we got here. Let's see what we got. We ain't gonna know until we take it out all. Oh, okay. Oh, come on, honey. I don't know what this thing scares me to death. I have done cut my hand. I don't know how many times with that thing. Oh, these things are sharp, and they will slice and dice on you like a ginsu, huh? A ginsu knife. You know, them Ginsu knives, look at that, just pop right out. Them Ginsu knives are sharp, too. All right. Let's see what we got. We got a little, might have to cut them out. This is going to be a long video, honey. It's going to be long, okay? But, um, uh, because I'm going to have to cut it. Oh, I'm so nervous. I don't want to cut it. <sighs> I don't. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm just going to. I'm just going to go right over the top. I don't like this knife. Let me see if I can use this. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go, a little hole or hand. Maybe I can work with this little hole. Look at that. I was hoping it was going to work. <laughs> Y'all, I'm crazy as a Bessie bug. I forgot I put a piece of tape down there. Lord have mercy, I was finna cut my mold up. 
thinking it had done went under it. I put the piece of tape down for extra security. Uh oh, I don't think that's secured. Mm -mm, it's not. Mm -mm, it sure is not. Y'all see it? That's the ones I made out of uh, thread. And I don't think it's, I don't think that's good. So I might have cut it off. But let's just see what we got here. See how they said. We'll pull just a little until the little head pops up out of there. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. come on, honey. Come on out of there, baby. I know you want to. Mm. Mm. There we go. We got one. Now, I'm going to have to uh, make the hole a little bigger. Because you ain't going to be able to get no resin down in there. I didn't even think about that. I should have done them maybe like this. But then, it would have had a... I should have done it like that. But then it would have had a... You know, something... Bubble get down in there. I did it like this because I was thinking a bubble wouldn't get down in there, you know. But they're coming out easy. But I'm going to have to make the hole bigger. Yeah, there's no doubt. No doubt about it. I'm going to have to do a little carving. Do a little carving, babies. But hey, it worked. Didn't it? Oh, come on. I'm ready to get to this bumblebee. I mean, this frog. Bumblebee. What crap am I talking? All right, let's see about this. Mm -mm. I, oh, no. I don't, I don't think that. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on off up in there? Let me cut it. Okay. Oh. Oh, that looks like a worm, don't it? Oh, looks like a worm. Arr, that's gross. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, babies. And it's got the detail off of it in there. Honey, we're going to see. We'll see. Because, see, I made it with UV resin, and I don't know if we're supposed, even supposed to put UV resin in silicone. I, hey, I was just trying find something, you know. But look at it. Look at it. It's got the detail in there. And I did this one pink. I wish I'd have done the frog pink. But I didn't. Now what I'm going to have to do, I'm not going to do it on here, but what I'm going to have to do is pull this open and just start right here and just make it bigger. Okay, so I'll do that later. But anyway, there's our little hooks. This needs a little clean up. Just a little bit. I'll do that later too. Toot on it. Alright. Now let's get with it. And wipe my hands. I think it's the UV in there. Yep. Counteracted with the silicone. That's what I think. Alright, babies. I'm going to get some. Ooh, something jumped off in there already. I'm going to get some uh, colors. All I need is like a a uh, black, and I think I got a black already out. Yep, got a black, and we're gonna need a yellow for the rim of his hat. Brown, I think I got a brown already out. Yep, I do. Brown for the ladder that he's on, and a green. Gotta get a green, and I'll be right back. All right, babies, got the colors. Now I'm going to take my little, uh, this keeps it from having static clean. So I'm just going to rip it off in there. And that will keep your mica powder from flying everywhere. It just decides to. Y'all see it coming out of there? I don't know what it is in there. Something in there. <sighs> Give it a blow just in case. All right, now then. Let's start with the ladder. And I'm going to be using Baltic Day Dark Sugar. Oh, God. There you go. My goodness. You just have problems, ain't you, baby? And let's see if this little thing here going to work. 
Well, that's the first time I've used it. I will shut your mouth. It does work. Okay. Oh, wow. Now, honey, this is getting up here because I'm a messy painter. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to dust it up. I'm going to do the ladder and then I'll come back. And um, when I come back, it'll all be dusted up. Okay. I'm trying to make my videos a little. Boy, I dropped it right in there, didn't I? Y'all see that? Got to get it out. Because we don't want a brown frog, do we? And look, the little holes, see? The little holes that's in there on the ladder. They came out too. They came out too, babies. Ain't that something? That just amazes me. I'm so excited to see this. Oh, God, I'm so excited. All right, we're going to put a little bit right here. This is the, um, what you call, and I think there's some over here. Let's get our frog over here so I can look at it. Uh-huh, right here. Oh, I'm so messy. I'm going to go ahead and do it and then clean it. I'll clean it up. When I come back, it'll be all good and clean. I just want to make sure I get it in every little crease all right all right babies i'll be back when i got it all dusted up okay all right i got his little ladder going now we're gonna do his hat off up in here with this yellow and just dust it around. Y'all, that little pad, that thing really works. Sure does. I'll try to find it and uh, put it in the link in the description because it really works. I'm just messy. <laughs> I'm just a messy, messy artist. I'm just going up, up in here and getting this hat. Y'all see? It's not spraying anywhere. I could over here, y'all might can see, can't you? Might need to pull y'all up a little bit. I don't think I got y'all close enough to me. I think I always have y'all closer than that. And you can, you can dust it any color you want. Let me, let me see if I can get y'all up here. Just a little bit closer to me, okay? Let me move this. My other video's uploading, so I'm going to set my phone over there. And it says it has uh, 34 hours. <laughs> hey, that's what it says. Oh, now it says 12. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Let me get y'all up here. Let's see if I can get y'all a little closer so you can see what the freak I'm doing. I got you all the way um, zoomed in. I don't understand it. I'm thinking it's supposed to come down slower, but I don't remember y'all being that high. I thought y'all was down a little bit more. Let me see what I can do. Hold on. I want y'all to see what I'm doing. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Maybe that's it. Now, that's a little closer, ain't it? All right. Yeah. That's a little closer. You can see a little bit. All right. So, what I'm doing is I'm going in here and dusting his hat. Okay. Get all his hat. Then I give it a blow. All right, now then, we get to paint the frog, and I'm using uh, lime, 
a Baltic day. Now, this right here was Arteza lemongrass green. But it's yellow. It's yellow. All right, now we get to dust our frog. Here we go. And he's fixing to come to life, ain't he? He's fixing to come to life. Oh, my goodness. Look at our little baby coming to life. The cutest freaking frog you've ever seen. Y'all, I can, I'm so excited about these doggone moles. Oh, let me get the little feet in his little arm. Get his little pot belly. Has he got a little pot belly? Look at that little pot belly. I want this dusted real good. That little pot belly. And then we got to get his legs. I love Baltic Day Mike Powder. Y'all. This is some good micro powder. I'm telling you. It's good. <sighs> Give him a little blow. Get his little foot and his toes. I'm just stamping it in there. Because I want to make sure I get them little toes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And just give it a blow. There we go. Let's see it with the green. Wow. It's going pretty quick. No, it ain't. Uh-uh. Look at there. Look at that. Was y'all hollering? Wait. Forgot a foot. Forgot. Wonder. Forgot. All right. Now then. Now then. Got it. Long videos. Yes. Okay. Now we're done with the green. Okay. Now then, I'm going to turn him around so y'all can see him. Uh, I'm going to get me a. These are called eyeshadow applicators. Best ever. 60 comes in a pack. They got the little pointed on the end, and then they got the flat on the other end. Okay. Show you what I'm going to do. Put me a little alcohol on the, this pointed end. And I'm going to go in here and clean this green out of his eyes. Because we're going to make his eyes black. Mm -hmm. That's right. Now let's get our... Nope, nope, nope. We're going to be using U.S. Art Supply Jewel Essence Midnight Black. Midnight Black, baby. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get them eyes. Take his lid off. Oh, come on with it. God. Well, I might as well get this. Let me wipe this off. Might as well get this little bit, huh? And put it up in there. Just gonna dab it. Because I don't want it going crazy. It's going to be the cutest little frog. Make him any color you want, honey. Any color. Now, let me say this. If y'all would like to buy the mold, my email is down below. It will be made when you order. When it's paid for, it'll be made. Okay, that's how I'm going to do it. And inside the United States, I tell you what, just email me. Tell me if you want the mold or if you want the finished piece. Okay? Because there's different prices, of course, because silicone, silicone mold. All right. Okay, wipe this off. All right, babies. That's it. Now let me mix up my resin. Let me get my gloves on. Mix up my resin and I will be right back. And, well, it's going to be right back for y'all. It'll probably be in the morning for me because it's 9.30 in the night. And I done got hungry. And, uh, 
even if I used the four hour uh, J-Diction. Honey, it would still be late, wouldn't it, when it got ready? Alright, so I clean my brush and get that. Get that over there. I know what y'all thinking. She didn't do the owl. Oh, but yes, I did. Oh, but yes, I did. I sure did do the owl. Okay, I'm going to mix up my resin, and I will be right back. All right, babies. Got my resin mixed up. And someone asked me where I got my, um, my respirator. I'll, sh I'll uh, find it and link it down below, okay? My mask that you know you wear always wear your mask and your gloves when you messing with resin babies. It is a chemical. Now I'm gonna put some brown in here, okay? Just in case I missed any of my wood, and that brown ain't it gonna make that green pop, huh? I think it is. I think it's gonna be pretty. And this is chocolate brown, dark sugar. Dark sugar, baby. Dark sugar. So you want to mix your um, mica powder up real good, baby dolls. Because if you don't, it'll float to the top and you'll have these little specks in your piece that you're making. But it don't matter on this because this is the back that we're looking at right here. Okay. So if it floats up, it's going to be on the back. All right. But I still want to get it. Good mix up. And I want to give it a little bit of heat. Just a little bit. Y'all, this video is an hour and six minutes. Oh! And I did make the um, mold for the um, owl. I did. And it's uh. I've already dusted it. It's sitting over there ready to be pulled out. Um, it would have just been a long, long, long video if I would have done two molds and two castings. It would have been long. But I did make it, okay? I'm going to give this a little heat. Just a little bit. I want it to set on me, but I don't want any bubbles. I'm going to lay it to its side, give it a little heat, and I mixed up four ounces. I use super clear resin, one-to-one. -one. It'll be down in the description. Everything that I use be in the description, baby, plus some. Some things that I recommend, okay? Now, I'm going to hold it up here, and here we go, loves. Oh, I can't wait. This little pot belly frog. Mm, I love my mold. I love my mold, guys. Mixed up four ounces of resin because I want it all the way to the top. Oh, but yes, I do. Now, you don't want to go over your little, little nibbers. Don't want to go over that. I'm going to give it a little tap around. If there's any bubbles in there, they'll come on up. All right, babies, I'll be back, and when I come back, we'll be demoting the frog and the owl, okay? I love y'all, and y'all have a great sleep, and I'll see you in the morning. All right, babies, bye. Good morning. Oh, it is cold this morning. It is 5 o'clock. My eyes pop wide open. First thing I thought about was these. Oh, Lordy. This right here is the frog. And this is the owl. Okay. Are y'all ready to see what they look like? Because I am. This is the frog. Let's do the frog. I'm excited about this frog. Oh, look at it. It's just coming out, babies. Oh, look at that. Oh, it popped right out. It popped 
Look, we still see some little brown, but that's okay. It'll clean up. Look at it. And here is our piece. Oh, how freaking cute. Oh, my God. Now, this is the original piece. This is the original. And that's the one we made. I can put him some white around his eyeballs. Make him... Make it look better. Yeah. I think he does this one. But it came out perfect, guys. Look. Did it not? All right. Let's see what Mr. Owl looks like. Mr. Owl. What do you look like? Oh, you can't even see me getting it out. Here we go. Uh-oh. Er, er, oh, here we go. Oh, mold. Look at the owl. And there's our finished owl. Oh my God. Now, what I used with this was uh, Tekka Rose Super Silver for the body. And I think it was this Gold Pearl. Yeah, I don't see any gold pearl. I think I put the gold pearl around his eyes, but that this right here took over. So, and then I put um, I'm looking, I'm looking. I put some black right in the in the dot of his eyes. So here is our finished pieces. What do y'all think about these gorgeous little things? Ain't they just the cutest little things you ever seen? I just love them. They came out so cute. There they are, babies. Original. Original at the top. And made the molds and made our own at the bottom. Which one do y'all like the best? The frog or the owl? Oh, God. Y'all know what? Oh, I don't know. I like them both. I like both of them. But I think this frog is going to be my favorite. Look, Miss Paula. She says she can't stand frogs. <laughs> Miss Paula gets a sugar. <laughs> oh, I'm just messing with Miss Paula. All right, darlings, there they are. Original. Right here. I love that green. And look, you can see the brown in it. In the belly. You can see where the brown was left in the belly. But the detail. Look at the detail, guys. Needs a little trim a tree on my hair. But let me tell you what. Just take your little uh, thing. That's it. It's gone. Look at there. Gone with the wind. Yeah. Drop it, Wanda. Drop it. But that's it, babies. And uh, I love y'all. And I will see y'all on the next video. And y'all have a blessed day. And, um, I don't know what I'm going to do after this because that's both of my videos. They're both um, uploaded. So I don't know what I'm going to do now. I'll find something though. I'll find something. Yes, I will. I'll find something. I just don't know what. But it, oh my God, Wanda. Y'all. Alright, I love y'all. I'm just dropping stuff coming in the going. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Peace, love, prayers, and happiness, babies. Bye! Sweet babies, we forgot our praying card. No, we didn't. I did, didn't I, babies? I was doing my little diamonds. With this is what I made with my leftover resin. Ain't that pretty? Uh-huh.
them let them sit here and air dry. You know, a little air get to them. Make sure they're all the way cured. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. All right. Here we go. Oh, my hands are still asleep. They don't want my... I done shuffled them. I was fitting to shuffle them again, but I remembered. You done shuffled them, Wanda. Oh, the mercy. Just get one. Get one. Get one. Let's go. Let's just go with this first one here. Let's go with this first one here. Right off the top. Let's go. All right. Today's prayer is Rejoice Always. One Thalassians. Chapter 5, verse 16. Rejoice always. Amen. Ain't these the prettiest cards? Oh, they're pretty. All right, babies. Y'all know what, though? I forgot to tell you this uh, video hour and 16 minutes long, but that's all right, ain't it? I forgot to tell y'all about. Um, we've got three more to do. I don't know when I'm going to do them because I got two or three things I got to do before that, but we got the, we got the ladybug, we got the turtle, and we got the bee. We got those left. Uh-huh. Y'all email me if you want um, me to make you some, or if you want a mold. Okay, my email address is down below, babies, and we'll talk about price and shipping and all that stuff, okay? All right, darlings, I'm gone this time. I love y'all. Bye.